Today we got YSL Woody went on no jumper and he was talking crazy. I'm not gonna lie. He explained why he started snitching. He explained why he don't mess with uh YSL mom though. He he said if somebody come up to him, come up to him and call him a snitching person, he either could pop him a bust him. I ain't gonna lie. And shout out Woody, cause he's standing on business and you don't just play with people like that. So I respect Woody. I respect he ain't going for nothing. But yeah, I'm gonna let y'all see it for yourself. I love y'all. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. It's my second video for the Today, if, FYI, I, I, I lay out though. Let's get it. Here we go. Bust one or the other. Mm. It's freedom, man. Right. Here we go. Right. Then I ain't hanging with nobody type time. But when my bitch, we locked in and shit, it been it ever since. Yeah. yeah. Right. So you and Tick still got like a relationship to this day, or? For sure. Who but you know, you know I mean, due to his freedom, I mean. Yeah. There's no communication with us. I didn't want to ask you right now. So, yeah, so, uh, how do you feel with the jacket that's been labeled on, you know what I'm saying, with everybody, the interrogation videos leaked, and everybody have this, uh, have their way of thinking about you now. How do you feel about people calling you, labeling you a snitch? Uh, it's, all, it's, on, it's on, on the internet. I haven't ran to one person that said it to my face. And I, and I ain't saying, like, on no gangster stuff. Like, I, I pray that nobody don't provoke me. It's, I, I respect Woody so much. I don't fuck I respect Woody so much only because it reminds me of myself. It's like I don't like I'm not looking for no problems, but I will do the worst to you if you give me out my character. I'm not lying. Please don't play. Like I I genuinely tell people, please don't play. Like I'm not, I don't I'm not even that. Like I'm a I'm a bitch. You know? I, don't play with me, please. I respect Woody. You feel what I'm saying? Cause I ain't mess with nobody. I ain't looking for trouble. So if I see, if I'm out and somebody walk up and say I'm a snitch or whatever, I'm slap. Uh, I'm a bust one up. I respect it. I respect it. I respect it. I'm gonna be honest with you. There's an endearing part of like Woody's personality where like yeah, obviously most people, if, I guess if you're from the streets, you you probably don't like the fact that he told. But it, it, it's you know he, he's still kind of talking tough, but it, it's he's also kind of have like this innocent thing to. Bro, I'm not looking for no trouble. Like, bro, I just want to be left to like. That's how it is, because if you, like, niggas would try that luck every single time, and I don't got time for niggas to tr not try nothing on me. Like, I'm at this point where I'm too old. I just, I'm at this point where I would walk away. I would genuinely walk away. And me being 22 and got a lot going for myself, I don't need to be in no random ass shootout. You feel me? If you play with me, if you, you know what I'm saying? You play with me and you want to take it there. I love my self-defense shit, I'm telling you. But I'm not going to be no random man. Oh, you said some dumb shit to me. Let me just pop your ass. Nah. Nah. So. It's kind of like, he's also having, he has a humbleness to him where he's like, yo, I'm not looking for no trouble. You know what I mean? I don't know. I believe him. When did, uh, when did you actually have to start like going to the police station and they started contacting you? Yeah, what was that decision like? Yeah, when was this decision and like what year would you say like they started really just like contacting you a lot? Uh, when it when it when it you know when it when that certain stuff took place. Yeah, so after nut passed, that's when really they was on you. Cause you yeah. got picked up that same day, right? No, they didn't pick me up. So, um, some happened and somebody called me like, hey, the investigators want to talk to you. Mm. I'm like, shh, what are they going to talk to me for? You know what I mean? Who him and talk to them? Because how do they know investigators want to talk to him if they don't know? It's a lot of fishy shit going on in a while, so. Going out there and talk to them? Yeah. But somebody else was like, nah, you know what I mean? Whatever, whatever. So I went. And then this thing, you know, shit, they let me go, but they started. Everybody in the London started saying, I did this. That's why I don't care. Everybody in London said, I did this, I did that, I did this, I did that. They could kiss my ass. Yeah, yeah I be talking. To everybody, to, yeah, everybody dry snitch. It was not one person from Atlanta was saying my name. So it's just like, y'all, the police out the rip. Fuck hey, all y'all. Generally, though, I wonder if why is there Woody and Gunner and any type got any type of relationship? Because I guarantee if they link up, we can break the internet. I don't know if Gunner could do that, but I guarantee you. I'm trying to see, like, my bad. I'm trying to see, but I wonder if I sell, uh Woody and Gunna got any type of relationship. That's interesting. Y'all comment below if they do. 
So you felt justified in talking to the cops because there were so many people talking in general? No, I didn't feel justified. My whole thing is get them off of me. So it, it wasn't being justified. Um, I didn't believe in none of the stuff, but it's just certain stuff. Like, I, I ain't no fall guy. You feel what I'm saying? And I was I'm not going to let nobody treat me like when I, I have own. That was also very interesting what he's saying is like, you know, he, he didn't really go too much into like, you know, his issues with Thug or at the time with Thug. He said Thug didn't live up to his word a lot. Um, that's why he started feeling a way about Thug. But, but, but he essentially said, you heard what he said then. And, and I think this is a part about being a street dude that I think some people like. He says, I'm not a fall guy. I'm not a, you know, I'm not the guy who, yeah, I, I just go do life in prison while y'all keep making money out here and fucking And I respect that. I'm damn sure not doing that same shit either. After getting, being in jail, after being in jail, probably, I don't know how long, you're going to start to realize these niggas had you as they fall, God. These niggas out here eating whatever the fuck they want, fucking whoever the fuck they want, doing whatever the fuck they want in Atlanta. And I'm in here in jail. Fuck no, I would never be no fall, God. If I ever be a fall guy and have to do a hell of time, it's going to be because I chose that to do that myself, my own train of thought, my actions, because I wanted to. You feel me? Hell no. Bitches. And that's how it goes. He's like, that's not me. And I think the street life is predicated on somebody like Woody being the fall guy, right? Where it's like, yo, you'll keep it real, you'll hold it down, you'll take the charges and go forever rot in a jail while Young Thug keep buying foreigns for his six bitches out here. Ah, he keep living life happening. and keep doing whatever the fuck he want to do. So that was kind of interesting where I'm like, Maybe the street dudes are kind of involved in it and be like, nah, I don't got to be no crash dummy. And if y'all won't call me a snitch for that, fuck it. Independent right. mindset. You, you, I'm going to treat people how they treat me. So this this way it really led up to a certain point. Like, But you probably never in a million years thought that those the, the tapes, tapes would come, come out either, right? Right, I knew that would. Oh, you knew that would. Yeah, yeah, but I didn't think they'd be there making an arrest. Mm. So, so what I'm saying, saying anytime, anytime somebody talks talk to the police, police it's, it's, it's almost impossible, impossible that it's never going to come up. Yeah. You, you know, know what I'm saying? So, so and I'm a type of person, I really be prepared. I think things too. So, so I'm going like, to think about 10 steps ahead just to be on the safe side in every which way. But, all right, so... Did any of your homies know? Because I've seen somewhere where I think Muntu, he said that uh, Doug actually advised you to go down there and talk to the police. And that night, because they said, y'all, we ain't got shit to do with nothing. Go talk to him. That's what he said on the stand. Still an open case. Yeah. Yeah. But he's not. That's what he said on the YSL trial stand like the other day. But that's what I just. He yeah. said, but I feel you on that. Yeah, yeah but. Um. Um. I wish I'd see something. In the city, you're too scared to do. Woody, get over here. I'll put you on it. You gotta do it for free. Which, again, I'm not saying they should have did this for free, but still, like... I don't know if he still is or whatever, but... Everybody rocking this, so you blood, won't we'll care where you from, what hood you here. That's how we was until they started to divide it. You feel know I me? Mean? Yeah. Damn. All right, but listen, stay away from those questions y'all trying to go around. And, um... We're not doing them cannabis shit. Because that's extra for him to go for y'all to follow him in the hood. That's too. That's extra for y'all to follow him in the hood. What? Yeah, I, I, I peeped this. I peeped this. Honestly, just let him do what he got to do. He's making money. That's Especially if he approve it. Love, love what he do, what he got to do. Stay in a manager place. You know what I'm saying? I ain't even getting into it. Like, I ain't getting into that. I love y'all, though. Make sure y'all like, come subscribe. We out.